Welcome to sports coverage of the Elite Eight. Today's game is between the Eastern Illinois Panthers and the Villanova Wildcats. Down to the Elite Eight. A couple of victories later, and now the tournament is shaping up. And of course, Bill, our starting five. Thus, we should really pay attention to the matchup in the middle. These two centers are really skilled and demand your attention on the court. Expect a big game from both of them. When we get going here today, these will be the keys. And after all that anticipation, we're underway. On the left side. He shoots from the corner. And misses. Hungry for the ball. The Wildcats set up for a round one. That's tough because guys can make shots and yet they can penetrate and kick. Entry pass in the paint. Straight away. Shots off. Thanks for joining CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson alongside Bill Rafter. The post can finish. The Panthers are now getting set up in five out. They take advantage of individual talents. Good job defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. Call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense. He winds up with the foul. He always gets your hand reaching in and getting in trouble. All right, here's a look at his per game numbers. Big numbers are good, but the great players and coaches know only give you so much information. He's been working hard this year. That doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but it can have an effect on the totals in the wind hop. Robinson handles the pass. Can't connect from the three-point line. Darnell receives the ball. Inside. Four minutes left on the game clock. Shots up. On the outside. Jump shot. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Out on the left wing. With 10 to shoot now. Fires the senior. Brandon is known as a passer, scorer type player. You know, this guy can move the basketball and create his own opportunities. Really a tough guard. On the left side. Jump shot. Off the mark. Oh, competitive Gus. Out on the right wing. And it's knocked away. Great block. Darnell handles the feed. Raf, these two teams in the first half of this tournament game have shown that they definitely belong. 
it's obvious to me that neither one is ready to go home. Both teams are competing well right now. The goal at this point in the game is to remain close. You don't want to fall too far behind. These teams are demonstrating that this one may go down to the wire. The Wildcats control the tempo here. Gotta love the way they come out here and really focused on their game plan. They've done a good job making sure the game is being played at their pace. Fire! It's good. Nice job defensively. Darnell receives the pass. Called for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. And we'll go to the free throw line. That's it. On the left side, rise and fire. They can't get the bounce. On the wing. Poor decision there. On the right side, he shoots from the corner with the answer. We are at the one minute mark. Oh, what a strip coach. Now in situ. Ball strip. He missed it. C reacting. How alert, Gus. On the left side. He puts up the tray. And no! Transition! Heat check time from long range. Perfect. He unloads a three. Rims off. What happens in the book? Stay tuned for CBS at the half. And here is our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who has been doing what. Let's check in and take a look at how both sides are doing with the keys to the game. Bill, what's going through these young guys' minds now? Here they are. They've worked all season long just to get to the NCAA tournament, and we've got a half behind us and a half to go, and somebody's got to go. You know what I think is really impressive here tonight, Gus? Is the fact that both of these clubs are focused on each possession. The level of concentration is where you'd expect it to be during the tournament. Looking for a good shot. He lets it go. How about this kid, huh? Both teams are looking to get something going here. Top of the key. And he's fouled. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Coach, it's tough when almost everyone on the floor can knock down free throw. As a coach, you gotta love it when your team can knock it down at such a high rate. Got it! Brandon takes the feed.
Shots up. He can't get it to go. And he looks to outlet. Shots up. But he misses his target. Darnell with the ball. Change of possession. Baseline inbound. It won't fall. Robinson handles the feed. He shoots from the elbow. He gets it to fall. We're at the four-minute mark, and he's fouled. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Everyone on this squad is solid from the free throw line. Their team free throw percentage is pretty good. You know it's always tough to play a team that can knock it down with consistency. Coming down the stretch. He got them both. Receives the ball. With ten to shoot now. How about that elevation? The Wildcats are playing their style and controlling the tempo. You know, that's all about going out there and executing. They've done a great job of taking care of tempo. Nice low post play. Good entry down into the box. <laughs> We're at the three-minute mark. On the left side. Rise and fight. No! Takes the rebound. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Well, with this young man, they have experience, and we all know experience is tough to come by, Gus. But seniors just see situations and know how to react to them appropriately. That first half was close, Raph. Both teams very, very well. But now I think one team has figured out the other. This one is getting out of hand. Halfway through the first half, this game is shaping up to be a fantastic one. Now things can change. It's remarkable just how poorly these guys are playing right now. This one's basically over. The Panthers drive and kick out there for the open look. Hurting them with an excellent penetrating kick game. Everyone is where they need to be. Great moves and great location. Dump it inside. He swats it away. Brandon handles the pass. Dials up a long-range shot. And hits. Brandon. Top of the key. Two minutes left on the game clock. He doesn't get the hoop. Brandon receives the pass. Well, Raph, this could go down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Gus. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Gus, you've got to love these tight ones. So much on the line here. One wrong move is all it takes. There's no room for error. Now looking to attack. On the left side. Let's it go. Outside, Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots, and not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. With a nice jumper from deep right here. Square enough. Get the feet in order. Beautifully. Digger!
dump it inside. Around a minute remaining on the right side. He shoots from the corner. And it goes. What a big time shot. And the timeout is called. We've got a break in the action. Stay tuned for more NCAA basketball. Jump shot. It's no good. Brandon takes the feet. He throws up the shot. He can't get the puck to fall. Darnell takes the pass. Careless mistake there. Miles handles the pass. It go. He misses from beyond the arc. All right, Raph, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure it converted on the free throw line. They did all of the little intangibles we consistently talk about. And that was the difference in this game. Coach, let's take a moment to look at our players of the game here today. These two kids were fantastic. Played hard for fourth and effort. But I'm certain the coaches will be happy with it. That does it for us here today. Until next time, for Coach Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching College Basketball here on CBS Sports.